Another great way to train is to come along on a training party. That's when you get to come and watch an in-home party in person or watch one online during a Facebook party. During these times, you get to write down questions and then we'll talk afterwards so that you have all of your questions answered. But you know what? If you are ready to go right now, I say go for it. You will be awesome and I have complete and utter faith in you. After all, who has ever had a Tupperware emergency? The key to having a great party is to have great host coaching. Partnering with your host is key because after all, these are her friends and she has invited them to her home. Plus, you have the added bonus knowing she is the one that is motivated to earn free Tupperware. What is party planning and just why is it important? Party planning is coaching your host on how to have a successful party. Party planning with your host, you need to select a date and mark it in your calendar. Be sure to share with the guests and the host the back of the catalog on the host rewards page so that they can see the thank you gift options and the percentages free and half off that they get with every party. This builds a desire to book parties for the future and lets the host know where they will be for their party as well. You will then give the host the party planning folder that is in your kit. You will write down the name, the date, the time of the party and then on the back side, if you're doing a recipe, you'll fill that part out too. Now, if you're doing a Facebook party, these folders are not necessary unless you are booking this party at an in-home party. When I send out a Facebook party host folder, I actually use the priority mail envelope from the post office. They're nice and they're sturdy, and I stack up everything that goes inside that folder from bottom to top with the opportunity flyer on the bottom, catalogs, flyers, order forms, and then the confirmation letter that I send to every host on top, and it all goes neatly in here with a smidget. I set up my party planning folders at home before the party, and they all have the same things inside. Inside the party planning folder, you will find eight to 10 order forms. This encourages your host to collect eight to 10 orders. Also on this side, you will find my checklist for a thousand dollar party. Be sure to check out the other video attached to this email on how to use this checklist. When you use this checklist, you will have a higher party average and a lot of a thousand dollar parties. On the left side, you will find two catalogs you can give three to four if they would like, and all the catalogs have your label on the back side. Then you also put in the opportunity flyer of whatever the current one is. The other item that you include in this folder is this current sales flyers during the time period of their party. If their sales flyer is not available at the time, you will mail that to them when they become available. When it comes to the recipes on the back, I always ask the host to provide some of the ingredients and some of the ingredients I bring myself. If it's a spice or a blend that is something exclusive to Tupperware, I always bring that because I want to make sure that we have the correct ingredients with us. Be sure to go over this checklist when you're party planning the host. When your host does everything on this checklist, I give them 10 gifts. The gifts are very small. They are tiny treasures and they are dating gifts that are either the current or the past. That way you're not breaking your bank, but if you're going to have a $1,000 party, it's going to help you out. What, number nine here talks about having the host call you the night before. If the host does not call you the night before, you call the host and double check to see how many people are coming so you have enough materials with you when the party happens. Helping the host to stay excited is one of the key elements when using this $1,000 party checklist because everything that she does on here, you have the opportunity to email her or text her or call her and say, congratulations, you get another gift in your gift bag because you did whatever they did on that checklist. Having that excitement shows you're interested in her party just as much as she is interested too. 
When you book that party, it all starts with a thank you note. As soon as you leave the party, take out a thank you note and write down the following letter. Dear Susie Hostess, thank you so much for booking a Tupperware party on date and day and time. I cannot wait to party with you. Please continue to personally ask your friends and family to join us at your party and continue to work on your outside orders. Together we will have the best party ever. P.S. Comma, if you have not already sent me your addresses, please do so as soon as possible. Thank you. Write your name and include two business cards in here. When you do this, right after you date this party, your parties are more likely to hold. Part of what we do is to give the host the most options possible. And to do that, we focus on having two or more parties dated from that party. When this happens, this unlocks the host exclusive gifts that gives her so much more Tupperware for free or with host bonuses. Be sure you are familiar with all the current host incentives, including the ones in the back of the catalog and whatever the current one is out of the flyer or any short-term ones that they have posted on my.tupperware.com. Tupperware does a great job of letting us know as well in our My Week email that comes out every single Saturday. If you are not getting this My Week email, make sure you let Tupperware know so they have your correct email address. Dating two or more parties at every party is the key to our party planning success and for you to be able to grow your business. You are only dating one party in five weeks, you will be out of business. Wait a minute. How does that happen? Check out the picture and don't let your business fall apart by week five. You aren't through until you date too. I like to do auction style parties, but find a style that works for you. I give Tupper bucks for all sorts of things at the party and for things that they do before the party even happens. It builds excitement and competition, and then they get to redeem these Tupper Bucks for the auction at the end for items that they cannot get out of the sales flyers or catalog. Some of the things I give Tupper Bucks for is anyone who brings a guest, I always give Tupper Bucks for that, along with anyone who brings an outside order to help the host build their party sales. I give Tupper Bucks to everybody who is on time. I give Tupper Bucks to anybody who is a Facebook friend of mine. I give Tupper Bucks to anybody who RSVP to the host because they let the host know that they were coming. If you have somebody helping you with the demonstration, they also tend to fall in love with that product and then they either decide that they would like to have it or book a party so they can get it for free or half off. I give Tupper Bucks for participation, for finding items in the catalog, for finding prices in the catalog. Anything that they can do to help me out, I give Tupper Bucks to. Give Tupper Bucks when you find, give Tupper Bucks when they bring a broken piece of Tupperware. This gives you the opportunity to remind them of our lifetime warranty, where if it cracks, chips, or breaks, Tupperware replaces it for only the cost of the shipping. Then whoever books a party also gets a thousand Tupper Bucks because they will be my next host. I always love to tell them, this is your one opportunity to go home with a piece of Tupperware and let whoever is at home say, I spent $2,000 on this. And they're going to look at you like, what? And then I tell them, but you know what? Tell them it was your Tupperware lady's money. So not to worry. Bucks are very reusable and very inexpensive. This is what a Tupper buck looks like. I print them three to a page on green paper so it is nice and easy. And when I run out, I just have them right on the back of it. And if they have one that has writing on the back, I just have them find a different one. After all, these are just pieces of paper and the bottom line is it works and it creates a fun and energetic atmosphere which will just lead to more parties down the line. Attached to this email, you will see the Tupper Bucks that I use along with this auction game script that I do at every single in-home party. At the end, I use something out of this bag of tiny treasures, like a hard-boiled egg catcher, and I just do an auction. 
This auction with this hard boiled egg catcher starts at $200. And the faster you can act like an auctioneer and say, I want have $200 over here, $300 over here, $400 over here, the more fun it is. And when you say sold, you hand it over and it's all giggles when it's over $2,000. It's a loud, energetic way for you to finish your party strong. All auction items should be small pieces of Tupperware, like the tiny treasures I showed you in the bag, or past dating gifts that are very small and haven't been used before. You want them to be special and something they cannot get out of the sales flyer or catalog. Do not spend a ton of money on your auction items. After all, they are only worth the amount of money that the paper is printed on. Do give them personality so that people want to have them and build that desire for them to want to have them. You could put them in a little bag or you could even just put a little bow on it. Making it special makes it attractive and that makes people want to have it. When you go out to date your first two parties, call them practice parties. Get a friend to help you practice and go through all the motions of sending the thank you note, the host folder, talking to her the night before, and know that the people she invited are probably your friends too, which will make it that much easier to demonstrate and practice with. When you put practice in front of the word party, a lot of people are actually open to the idea because they're willing to help you practice and they do get free and half off Tupperware as a result. So go date a practice party and let me know what day it is.